Alright, hey guys, how's it going? Starting a little early, per usual. Song's a little louder than my usual one, so. Adjust everything a little bit. As you can see, there's now a bird cam. He is this way for me, but. Can we be good? He's very squawky, very excited. When I sit next to him like this, he usually gets a ton of treats, so I'm expecting for him to be very vocal, but hopefully not to scream. Can you be good? He does have cute sounds, I swear. He just doesn't do them all the time. All right. I think everything sounds good. Let's get my own music going here. Very nice. I hope you guys bear with me for starting in like consistently a half hour early. I should really just say 5.30. Just like I'm ready to go by like four and I'm just so impatient. But yeah, as we do this, I'll probably move the camera around. He mostly just stays in this top half of his cage, but he definitely has favorite toys that he goes to all the time. I'm hoping that after a while he'll get comfortable and he'll go sit right here on his toy on the outside of his cage. He loves that one. But yeah, it's a good time. All right. So this is what I was working on last time. Mushroom Queen's looking really awesome. Haven't done anything since last night that you guys saw. And then for right now, I'm thinking of working on Nightmare Horse. I was expecting to have a lot more work to do on this and I realized it's pretty much done actually. I don't want to do too much more work on the main entail until it's posed. So I was thinking about posing. When you're first learning how to sculpt, posing is always a lot um, harder than you expect it to be. And I've been Looking forward to the day that I finally uh, post something on live stream so I can reference my students to it. So let's get going. Hope you guys are having a good day. Tiki's having a very good day. If he ever moves off camera and you guys are like, hey, I want to see him, just let me know. It takes nothing for me to just bump the camera around. All right. So for posing this, what I'm going to make sure is the main thing that I'm going to be adjusting is the body. The mane and tail will come later. So I make sure I have a really nice low subdivision level like this. And the reason is because when I mask it, I can get this really nice blur when it's the low subdivision level. If it's super high, like this, it's being silly, there we go. Now when I try to blur that line, it pretty much doesn't. And I'm using this masking technique a lot, so it's really helpful and that works the way it's supposed to. Happy with this. The jaw and teeth are connected. That works. I think we're all ready to go. So I'm going to go up here to Z plugin and let's see. Transpose master and then T pose mesh. It's going to take everything to its lowest subdiv level, which I think is just the body. The other ones are stuck high, which is fine because I'm not moving them. I have some references on my screen over here, and that's what I'll be looking at. I'm going to turn off perspective. Let's get rolling. So it's a lot of masking, blurring that mask, and then I use the transpose line a lot. Adjust my model. It's really important when you're posing something really careful that you keep your proportions pretty much the same. That looks comfortable. All right, I'm gonna hide the tail and we're gonna select the legs here.
one of the main tricks with posing too is like you're not going to get it perfect the first time or even close. So you really just try to find the best balance that you can and then go through and make the fine adjustments later on. Like you can tell it's already looking kind of, I mean obviously it looks weird. There's, <laughs> it's about 2% pose. Horses are also kind of just notoriously uh, hard to draw, hard to sculpt. They've, they've got a lot going on. main reference I'm using the horse is black and I'm starting to see why it makes it difficult. Hello Virgil. Yeah. Got one leg kind of posed. So all these like sculpting deformations and weird stuff like this, I'll worry about that once I have it back in um, Ad Transpose Master. But for now, I'm just leave it the way it is. I'm so glad you guys can see him now and see where all this weird noise is coming from and all the bouncing and I know I'm making fun of you. I love this bird. rotates a lot more than I expected it to. So I need to have one leg that's more in front than the other. Um, it's just going to make it look more balanced. Easier said than done. I used to hate posing, but honestly, I find it really therapeutic now. It's just lots of small adjustments again and again and again. A lot of the musculature that gets to form, I'm not too worried about. Also because I'm going to be making this horse look even more emaciated and weird. Just gonna leave that where it's at. It's good enough for right now. And now let's work on the rest of this. There we 
jar. Uh, Ricky has brought in the baby. Come here. We don't have children. I meant dog baby. Dog baby. <laughs> oh, he barely even shows up on camera. He's all black. But yes, other friends. We have a small zoo here. <laughs> I know. I know, I know, I know, I know. Get an actual good look at him. Did you look at the camera? He's like, I can't tell. There we go. <laughs> His little bug eyes. <laughs> oh, he's cute. Okay. You smell like a fart. <laughs> I need to wash him again. Yeah. I'm back to sculpting. <laughs> Thank you, honey. Right. Lots of animal appearances this this live stream. <laughs> He's just playing with his toy on the other side of the cage. Well, yeah. That's about the best angle we're going to get of him right now. You dork. He's... So, the toy obviously has, like, a little knob on the inside of the cage, and that's what he's playing with. Not, like, you know, this part. This is the toy, dummy. On this side. Hm. Yeah, no. No interest. Whatever. What can you do? It's like getting a cat a toy and they just sit in the box that it came in. So right now it's all pretty like on the same plane and then as I refine this we'll be curving its spine that kind of stuff. Thank you. Yeah but I mean pose looks great right now. I mean what else I need to do? Yep totally straight arms. Super good. <laughs> There we go. He actually came out again. Yeah, play with your toy on the right side of the cage, Goober. Hello. Alright. Let's go ahead and select these legs. Only want to work with one at a time. I don't want to grab the front of the chest at all. Wow, this is a lot harsher of a bend than I expected it to be. Actually, like, really far back there. Okay. I know horses are hard to pose and move around. This is just reminding me. Yeah, it bends way back there. Okay. Do I have Reception's Painter? Nope, never used it. I'll need to do a lot of uh, sculpting on these front arms to put them back where they're supposed to be. He is like on the move today. Usually he just sits in the same place, honestly, and plays with the same toy for like an hour at a time. I swear he knows he's on camera. He's like, I got a boogie. I know, I'm talking about you.
All right, it's just carefully moving this leg around. It's this, like the forearm, I guess, is pretty much gonna be parallel to the ground. So I'm trying to get it there. It just looks ridiculous. Grab the knee joint. When I'm doing harsher bends, I like to use the gizmo. Go. You're actually singing, making some cuter sounds, not just like squawking. There we go, that's the squawking I'm talking about. He's learning bad manners from the sparrows outside that traumatize him all day. I have some little wild birds that sit outside and just um, yell at him all day. He loves it, but um. He doesn't learn the cutest sounds from them all the time. You can hear like some cute parakeet sounds in there and then every now and then just yelling. These horses have so many little joints. Gonna hide these little flame pieces entirely, but they're not going to go away. There we go. Again, for a harsher bend here, so I'll grab the 3D gizmo. I'm also, this joint is getting a little too long. Yeah. Always a good reminder to look at your model from multiple angles when you're posing, otherwise you get a really wonky looking lines. Here we go. And the other flame tops have like a place to go and they're not too hard to put down, but uh, these ones where it's all tucked up are a little challenging. All right, it's, it's getting there. There's definitely gonna be a lot of fine tuning that needs to happen. All right, let's grab that other leg. Luckily this one isn't as bent up, so it doesn't look as weird and broken from the start. My goodness, you were just noisy today. So I keep muting. I know it's not the most pleasant sound. Goodness, baby. Come over here and play with your toys. Hmm? 
He's in a new spot, so he's all excited. I understand. Yeah, he's looking at that new toy. He's like, no, I just want to yell at you instead. Thank you. He's very polite though. It doesn't make a whole lot of noise usually when I'm talking. Depends what it is. Really? This is a good example of me forgetting to look from all angles, so one of these hubs is like totally broken looking. Ah, don't worry. All right, here's like the rough block out of this pose. Obviously some issues, but that's where all the fine tuning comes in. So let's go ahead and work on that and look at another reference. All right. And then we're gonna fine tune it exact same order that we sculpted it. Alright, so first thing that looks weird is the legs. Turn off perspective and hide the tail as well. So the hawk should just be lower. It's one of the big adjustments.
it's also a little short and stocky right now. So I'm gonna grab this. I'm not sure why that's masking. There we go. Just elongate this a bit. a lot of small improvements. These are a little wobbly and kind of having some funny stuff going on, so I'm going to straighten these up. Slowly getting there. Alright, I'm gonna need to find a reference without a rider as well to figure out how sloped I want the back to be. Depends on the horse, but try and keep it as consistent as I can. Yeah, horses are tricky. This is good practice. See Joshua's here. Hello. I know I'm very happy with the new bird cam. Even if he is refusing to sit where he normally does. I put a new branch lower down. Here, I'll just show this. There he is. <laughs> of course, he's a new perch, so he's like, I'm going to live on the new perch. Yes, I see you, baby. If I could have it tilted down just a bit, it'd be perfect, but don't have anything next to me, I think. That's that shape. Here, how about this? Perfect. Getting creative. Now, as you can tell, there are absolutely no toys on this side of his cage. He never sits right here. Really? Like, yeah. He's a good baby. Where'd I put my pen? Oh, there it is. Alright, let's look at another reference. Honestly, horses look a lot more awkward rearing than you think. Like, you have this, like, majestic image in your head, and they, they don't really look like that. They're just oddly shaped animals, honestly. Can you, like, sit somewhere that you normally sit? That'd be awesome. He's probably hungry is why. He has an infinite supply of food at the bottom there. It just takes him a while to find it every day, even though it's been the same place for two years. I know, I'm making fun of you. Here he goes. All of his toys, where he normally is. Hey, maybe he's just camera shy. It's his first proper live stream, so I can't blame him. All right. The back is looking really weird, but even if I obsess in the back looking perfect, I'm just gonna put a saddle and a rider on it anyway, so maybe I shouldn't worry about it too much. a little bit more volume right here since it got a little pinched after all of the adjustments I did. There he goes, found his food. Oh, he's gonna play with his bath. Oh, okay, that's what's happening. Let's see if I can get this on camera because it is super freaking cute when he does this. See, do I just use the move tool to pose? Yeah, with masking, I'm in transpose master right now. Bird cam, okay. 
Let's see. I don't want to get him like all shy. Okay. There he is. <laughs> I don't know if there's a way for me to like mount this, but that's what he's doing. He'll probably be down here for a while. He loves his bath. You're so cute. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, let's see if I can get this hooked on there. He's so interested in what I'm doing. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna hook on there very well. Cause again, my anticipation was that he was going to hang out right here. This is where he sits like 99.9% .9 of the day. Of course, he's like, ooh, live stream camera. I'm gonna act like I've never acted before. Whatever, oh well, I tried. He'll be back. Oh, he's already back. <laughs> Such a spaz. All right. Hello, Maker Viking. Normally I don't do too many like sculptural changes until I'm at a transpose master, but right now it's actually taking the detail pretty well, even though being a low subdivision level, so I'm gonna work here for a second. This is coming out nicer. Again, it just it is a slow process when it's posing something this complicated. It's like with a dragon, you can get away with a lot of stuff. People aren't totally sure like how it's supposed to balance, but everyone has seen horses and specifically when they're rearing like this. I mean, you think you know what they look like, like, oh, so majestic. Do me a favor, if you Google rearing horse right now, most of them look ridiculous. They're like half falling over. <laughs> It can't stand there for more than like half a second because it's it's not balanced at all. But we've all seen those really gorgeous like rearing horse statues where so you have to just find a way to make it make it make sense. Overall, it's it's coming out nicer. I am happy with it. Don't get me wrong. It's just challenging. <laughs> I haven't posed a horse in forever. Let's see if I can cheat and just like I want to raise both of the arms up a little bit. Sweet, that's actually gonna work. I wasn't sure if I was gonna have to manually re-sculpt it. He's getting some food right now.
All right, so as I mentioned before, it's all pretty like straight, but I think adding a curve to this would make it look really nice. So once I get the legs the same length, um, we'll do that. Make it look a little less broken. looking better bit by bit okay now let's see the curve I was talking about don't want to do it too much so the saddle and everything still fits And he is really on the move today. Lachis always gets him mad. So he tucks up this toy. Because this has all these little arms right here. And he always throws this one over this branch. If I move it back, it always drives him nuts. And back to three. Yep, there he goes. Now he's for the next like minute or so trying to figure out how to put it back up. I know. I'm surprised he didn't just scream at me. Usually he does. I know, I'm just messing with you. <laughs> Alright. Back to this. Turn off perspective again, kind of tuck it back under. Looks like a little spot of this hoof got masked by accident. So we can just move it back. There we go. It's not perfect, but that's fine. There we go. Okay, back to bigger adjustments. Grab another spot to bend from, go right behind the withers. see which side's gonna look better. Probably this side actually. Curved everything the other way though. So let's try fixing that. Rotate the whole thing to whatever I want like the alpha shot to be and then trying to make this angle look the best that I can. If I do this I need to move the legs around quite a bit. So grab the move brush and kind of like move a couple of things around really dramatically just to kind of see what look I'm going for here. Raise this leg up, butt down more. The back legs might just be too long. It's part of the issue here. <laughs> this leg looks 
root has some uh, problems from this angle. That's a bit better. Yeah, it's better. Another thing you need to be careful for is the way the muscles are on the inside of the legs, too. They should be a lot closer together. that, I might need to go add a transfer master there. I have a little bit more polygons to work with. It's funny because I'm working on making the legs look correct. I'm just going to go back through and make them look all emaciated and like falling apart here. That's okay. Alright, let's reference really quick. One of the things I like to really work on, um, not work on, but like a quick trick when filling in volumes is taking the trim dynamic brush, holding on alt, and then using that to fill in areas like this. See, like it kind of like just it flattens and fills as I need it to. So I like the really high withers earlier. But now that it is rearing, it just looks like a weird growth. So I'm just going to smooth it out. Add some of the muscle structure back to the neck here. There we go. Say so DK 3D models names. Not usually. That's a good question though. I can't remember the last one that I did. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think I do. Good question though. This area is a bit too stretched out, but that might just be the reference I'm looking at. Let's look at other horses. Okay, yeah, no. That can be fine. Like, I think I'll go sculpt Frank's nose now. <laughs> no, that is very funny. I love that. So I'm looking for a fairly round belly shape still, even though making it thin. But there was a little too much volume added right here. That's better. Let's 
let's make this rounder. There we are. That's better. I feel like this joint right here doesn't look very confident. I'm not really sure what to do with it. So I'll just define it more. When in doubt, I just <laughs> lean into it more. That looks better. Now that's posed, uh, more or less, I can actually really move the mane around and see what I want to do with it. I was worried about making it too long, because I don't want it to be like in the writer's face. See if I can get a better angle on the head here. I like where it's at, but always trying to improve. More of a tilt would look good. If, if I was to give this horse a name. Hmm. The first name that came to mind was Zark. I don't know why. That's not what I would pick, though. I'd always, whenever I actually name animals, I, I never pick anything that sounds like that tough. Like, it's like Tiki. Its last name is Xerxes, thought it sounded fancy. But I'd probably name a horse like this Noodle, honestly. Because <laughs> he's going to be super skinny, and his mane is all floppy and noodly right now. His name is Noodle. Noodle the Nightmare. Yes, I love that. <laughs> oh, that made my idea so much better. Noodle the Nightmare. Yes, thank you. That's lovely. I don't normally sculpt with 24 perspective, but like, mm, it looks okay with that perspective. Width looks a little better, and then with even more, it kind of brings it more towards the camera, I think for this specific model. It helps make it look more dramatic. All right, I'm not gonna improve this pose a whole lot more right now, I can tell. Um, not because it's perfect, but because I've been looking at it for a long time. So, what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to stop messing with it at some point and uh, go back to Transpose Master and T Pose FT. If it doesn't hate me, it will just work without falling apart. Yay! Very nice. It doesn't look half bad. I still feel like that angle looks better in parts, but like it's not... I don't know. It's... This is the angle where everything is sculpted to. I think his butt is sticking out weird. Okay, yeah, a little bit. I 
There's something funny going on right there. Just scoot that over. Add a lot more volume right there. Let's see if I can go in with just a standard brush. This crease right here came out pretty harsh, but I can smooth that out. No worry. Yeah, the shape of this leg definitely got a little lost, so I can go back through here and add these muscle lines and whatnot. I'll just scribble those lines right there as a reminder that I'm going to go back to that at some point. And then the line right here shouldn't go up that high, so I can just smooth that out using that trip trick I described earlier. And I just have no muscle definition on the chest at all. I kind of forgot what it looks like. I know there's two big muscle groups right here. That's about all I remember. I will need to look at a reference for that. And then just like stuff happens right here. I don't really look at horse bellies that often. More often than the average person, but still not very often. I probably like this angle more just because I haven't looked at it as much as the other one. Yeah, no, that looks better. All right, that pose is a pain in the ass, but it is coming together. It's definitely not done, but the horses are so hard to pose, guys. <laughs> looks like Tiki's being a really good bird. For those that were here earlier, I apologize. He was so screamy. He just excited. He's in a new spot and everything. But there he is, being adorable. Okay, I'm gonna save this. The name is Noodle the Nightmare. That's gonna be the file name. Pose one. Yes, I love it. Oh, Sarah's here. Hello. Overall, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this pose. But I, I need to stop looking at it because I know there's a lot of problems. I just need to figure out how big those problems are. Whether they need to be fixed. Still sculpting. Why am I not stopping? <laughs> I keep saying I'm going to move on to the next project so I don't, like, you know, get tunnel vision. And uh, I'm still doing it. <laughs> Okay, stop. I put a render on this and then take a break because I've been sculpting for like 40 minutes. Because I started early. I keep starting early. I need to change my live stream time to 5.30. Alright, spooky underlight. And then I really liked the chrome on this. Where is it? I think it was chrome. Might have been droplet. the lighting a little more. I don't get previews of it when it's this kind of material, but yeah, it looks better from the front. Very nice. Alright, taking a small break. Stretching. Water. He is being really cute. I think he's falling asleep. Hi, baby. All right, let's see if I can get this camera view over there. I know you get no privacy now. You're a star. Sitting above his toy, being adorable. Yeah, scooch this over there. Just get a little look at him. Yeah, he is. You're a star. Let's see if he'll let me put it in the cage without hating it. You're so white, baby. It just blows off camera right out. <laughs> he wasn't as sure about that. 
But since I'm on break, let's see if we can give him some treats. A little snack time. Grab a little thing of millet up here. He sees it. Come here. Get a better grip on this. There we go. Snack time. Like most parakeets, he absolutely loves these. It's like a little sprig with like a bunch of seeds on that. I'll show how much you can see that. Pepper peas. This is the best way to spend my breaks. I know, you get so much attention. All right, let's see if I can bribe him with staying close to the camera with the treat. There we go. That's a good view. Tiki, everyone thinks you're so cute. Such a good baby. Also making a huge mess because this is eating outside the cage, but it's totally worth it. I have a shop vac in this room just for taking care of seeds being everywhere. There we go. I know, I'm talking about you. That is plenty of millet. Sometimes, if he's being really patient with me, I try to put it on his head like a hat. Oh, you're too tall. Now you're just trying to play with it. There was a while there where I could, like had it all, like where he knew what hat time was. Now he's not so sure. He just wants to play with it. I guess that's fine. I guess you can just play with your toys. But hat time. Look at him. He's like, no. <laughs> My goodness, he is so cute. And now you guys can see what I'm talking about. So he puts his entire face in the bell, and he just like clicks it against his beak. You are the cutest baby. I try taking from you. <laughs> I still haven't gotten over that, like when they yawn, just like their entire face opens pretty much. But, I mean, still very cute. Well, I guess he's just gonna do that for a bit. He'll do this for like legit hours. What I found if his bell, or not his bell, if his toy doesn't have a bell on it, he has no interest in it. But you can put a bell on anything and then it's his favorite thing in the world. Hello cute babies. All right, demon horse is looking fantastic. Probably going to <laughs> work on something now. Maybe I'll bring the elf rider in and see if I can get that going. A tad brighter. I forgot to stretch up my wrist all the way just because Tiki is being so cute. When I first brought that toy home, the one in the back that has like the three or just four little tendrils hanging in the bells, he was so afraid of it. 
pretty much everything in this cage that you see, when I first put it in there, he was terrified of it. But after like, you know, two days or so, he does well. You know, I wouldn't be very brave if I was one ounce either. Or 1.1 .1 ounce is what he weighed last I weighed him. Uh, tomorrow morning is the first ambassador meeting for Patreon. I'm really excited. I doubt it's like top secret news or anything, but there are 50 ambassadors they pick, and one of them is Physics Girl from YouTube, obviously. She's awesome. I have always super looked up to her and admired her, so I'm really, really excited. And uh, they mentioned after the meeting they're going to post like little groups, like breakout groups, so we can talk. They have us like categorized by like what we do, whether it's like a visual artist or podcaster. Uh, she was the only one that was in her own category. It's just like science curator or something. So I'm not sure what group she's going to be in, but I really hope they put her in mine. <laughs> I'm not even sure why I say that. I'm so shy. Like if I wouldn't say anything, I'd just be like, hi, you know, cool. So neat. We're both doing this. But in reality, it's like I've seen every video you've ever put up on YouTube. <laughs> He has wiggled over to the other side of his cage. Cannot see him, but at the very, very end of that tendril that's hooked around the branch, he is at the base of that. Being, you know, adorable. Alright. Feeling better. Massage my arm. Save this one more time. And let's go grab that elf girl. You know what? I can save this as a tool instead. I'll add it to that one. It'll be faster. Doodle, the nightmare. God, that is just. I have to name everything now. So awesome. Alright, Elf Raider. I really don't like this pale background color, so I'm going to change that first. Get a low tool. Grab noodle. There we go. Looks so weird in that chalky matte cap. Okay. If I merge it all together, I'm going to lose my subdivision levels. It's okay. What I'll do is I'll merge these pieces together and I'll append them separately. That should work. All right, go to append. I'm going to grab all this. And then let's go grab his body. I should, that should keep my subdivision levels. It sure did. Sweet. All right. Okay, it's a totally different size than <laughs> there is the writer all the way down there being tiny. That's okay. So we can just unify these two. Okay, did not unify them to the same size, which is kind of kind of annoying. But I'm gonna undo that. Let's get all of these pieces merged together because I have like a hundred tiny little different armor pieces. And I don't need to have that. All right, those can merge together. Gonna make sure all of these are solid as well. What's that? It's two little dots. It's like two tiny little objects. I will just select those, delete them, if it'll let me. There we go. I kind of forgot about how this armor came out. I really like it. Alright, the 
pants look good. They're solid, sweet. Her shoes look awful, and I knew that. I just <laughs> I did not fix them. I remember that. All right, I might need to do that before we move on. That looks fine. Maybe go with the lighter color for this. Very nice. I mean, the shoes don't look too terrible. Again, they're just so not like important on the sculpt. We'd rather spend more time making the hair look awesome. We'll see what I decide to do. I could just quickly add trim to these with the Z modeler brush and I'd probably make it look fine. So let's do that. Let's go to dynamic, add some thickness to these really quick. That looks fine. Oh, they have subdivision levels, it's kind of. Oh, dark, so dynamic. Thickness, that'd be why. Undo that really quick. <laughs> Instead, go to panel loops. These have a button that did this, and they're pretty awesome. There we go. That's what I need it to. Let's see, modeler brush, and we're going to do some edge loops. How do you play your border? Yep. It's a really weird texture on it right now. I'm not sure what's going on there. Right, that looks nice enough and makes the boots look better. And then as I need to, I can really make that fit well to the boot. have this all the pieces that I need like as simple as this is gonna get I can put them all in a folder and then scale you know I'll put the horse in a folder instead and then scale that down just go to transpose set and there we go Alright, now how big should this be? Um, let's turn off perspective. 
probably about that big. And she is an elf. I'm trying to think how tall is like a horse's butt. <laughs> Let's see. About as tall as her back. It's like the same. It's about anywhere between four to five feet. So like that big. So I imagine her shoulder here is about Oh, um, how tall am I gonna make her? I wouldn't mind if she's on the smaller side. That looks good. All right, I guess I can use Transpose Master like normal. I've never used it for posing multiple models at the same time. Well, let's see how it goes. To make sure there's no glitches or anything, and rather than going through and posing all this and getting super attached to the pose and it ruining it, I'm just going to go right back to T-Pose Sub-T right away to make sure. Because sometimes if there's issues, you'll find out very quickly. All right, looks like it's not gonna be a problem. Sweet, I'll just delete that and we'll do it again. He is sitting right above his mirror right now. I'll just mask all of her. I can't remember the last time I had a model that was um, writing something. I also can't remember how I did the pose. It was something weird and janky because uh, I was I was learning a lot at that point. I'm still learning, obviously, but I especially didn't know what I was doing then. All right, the saddle would fit about there. I might want to mirror her, just her, because I want her hair going the same way as the horse. Oh uh, yeah, there we go. She's posed, right? Done. Nailed it. Oh, this is going to be a pain in the ass. Okay. It's going to be worth it. We're gonna need to give her like a sitting pose first and foremost. Oh, that's right, I made all of that attached. Uh, that's probably fine. Hide her hair as well. Just bend at the waist. Her knee should be somewhere about there.
a pretty big improvement. <laughs> This is actually really not going to be that bad. I'm just used to doing this when I used to take two hours to pose someone standing. <laughs> Gotten a lot better. Oops, that's not what I wanted. There we go. This is why I don't pose on live stream too often, because I don't I sure don't say much. I am very focused on what I'm doing. <laughs> but I appreciate you guys hanging out with me all the same. This feels like a more quiet day. A lot of you guys work on your own things uh, while the live stream is on. I'm always curious to know what you guys are working on. He is falling asleep. 
making a lot of noise and singing a lot, but his eyes are like drifting. I know. Just getting the arms like roughly into place. All right, let's mask her eyebrows and hair. Or eyebrows and eyelashes, there we go. So I can move her hair around without losing the rest of it. No, I'll grab her like her hairline too, and I'm thinking about it. There we go. model's going to be awesome when it's done. Usually when I get to the posing stage, it's so close to done. This one is so far away from done. Um, I still need to detail the hair and mane on the horse and on the person. And I haven't made her weapon yet or the bridle. I don't know if I'm going to do a saddle. See what I do with that. Sarah says, my cherries are coming in, so I'm working on pitting 40 pounds of cherries so they can be stored. Oh my goodness. That sounds like fun and like a lot of work. <laughs> I love, love, love cherries. I grew up next to a cherry orchard, so it's got some weird happening there. Anyway, so <laughs> it was weird having to like buy cherries once um, we moved. All right, let's call it good with this loose pose right here. There we go, just a couple more adjustments. All right, key pose up to you. Hello, Ripples. Now he's just about falling asleep now. He's so cute right now because he's all fluffed up. Hopefully this goes well and doesn't glitch or do anything terrible. Okay, so I turned her body inside out, so she looks kind of scary right now. But I should be able to flip the normals, like, no problem. My goodness, she looks scary. You know, it's always something new with ZBrush, right? Look at that. Ah, oh my god. Okay. So instead of... I'll just dock that button on my UI so it's easy to jump to. What's it under? Is it display properties? Yeah. There we go. Now I can just click quickly, click flip as I need. It should fix it. Yes. Thank God. In case you want to know what she looked like inside out, now you know you're welcome. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Oh, thank you. I'm really excited about that. Ricky went to get groceries and he brought me back a refresher. So happy.
Awesome. I really like those strawberry sahi refreshers from Starbucks. I like extensively read about just making it myself. It's not like that complicated. It's like white grape juice, yeah, white grape juice, concentrate, and then asahi powder, and a bunch of water, and a little bit of sugar. But everything that I've read, like people try to make copycat recipes, that just tastes like dirt. And the asahi powder was kind of expensive, and I was like, <laughs> you have to buy a lot too. <laughs> it's like a pound of it, so I was like, what am I going to do with a pound of asahi powder if I don't like it? So I just buy them. He is hanging on top of his kid, cage like a weirdo. Look at him. What are you doing? Oh, okay, you're going to play with your toy upside down like a bat. I love birds. Oh my goodness. You're such a dork. My goodness. <laughs> Completely upside down. Alright, well. I'll let him do that. Let me adjust my camera so it's a little taller. Open it up here. There we go. Now you can see him in all his bat glory. Weird bird. Oh, I'm so sorry, Trunks. I don't think I'll ever forget what she looks like inside out. <laughs> You're welcome. This has been such a chill live stream. I'm really enjoying this. I like the really high energy ones too where I talk like the entire time and have stories and whatever. But um, this is nice too. Especially if I can traumatize you with my inside out mesh. I don't know why that happens sometimes. What you gonna do? All right. So right now I'm out of Transfers Master and I'm just manually adjusting the rest of it pretty much. Just putting her armor pieces back where they're supposed to go. Almost kind of hard to tell where this is supposed to go now. One of the downsides of posing a character that has literally any armor or giving them a fun pose or like, why not? That's okay. I can just adjust it. That was a terrible sound, baby bird. Oh my goodness. What are you doing? I don't know if you guys can see. Oh, you can see that. Yeah, he's like. You're just being a nut. Oh, I'm so glad he likes his swing. I put it up there today. Yay. Well, he had like a 10 minute nap and he is back on the move. I think we're gonna have to break these down into separate pieces. I kind of had a feeling that this model would be a pain to pose, and I was right. It's gonna be worth it though. Yeah, these pieces look a lot better, like flowing behind her. Oh, I forgot her shoes are also inside out. Goodness, just the entire model. I mean, it's a one button click, so no worry. So if I can remember where I put the button, there it is. All fixed. I'm gonna put this right here just as like a placeholder. Oh, it's doing it in symmetry. That's fun. Let's make it a really dark color. Because if I don't put these little like noodles right here, um, I'm going to forget entirely to give rains and whatnot. I didn't pose her other arm because I do think it looks kind of cool if she had like one arm like off to the side. We'll see what I end up doing.
go back to nap time. That was a short-lived party. Small party. Oh, I have some exciting news. Well, I think it's super exciting. Um, we came out to GameStop today, and I got my own Xbox. I'm very excited. I've always been a huge gamer, but um, Ricky and I have been together for almost seven years, and we just share everything. But like honestly, um, I didn't have a job until never until doing this. <laughs> so in college, I didn't have any money. So therefore, we bought game consoles. Even though Ricky let me use it literally any time, like he bought them. So um, they're more or less. His, even though I could use them. Anyway, this one is mine. It's just mine. I'm really excited about it. This is gonna be so badass, guys. Very excited. I'm gonna duplicate that one and just mirror it, even though it mirrored like really far away, because the other one got a little deformed. There we go. I'm thinking of putting like some sort of little spikies on her head as well, but her ears already kind of give that shape and I really do like that. Thank you. And so Mia gaming stream soon. <laughs> you know, Ricky has told me a hundred times that I should do that. Um, I don't know, I'm just like, I guess like with art, it's like my space. so. I'm like comfortable sharing that because I'm confident in this. Um, I am a terrible, I'm terrible at games. Like, I don't know why. Like I'm just awful at them. It's, I love them and I play them a lot. But like, I feel like if I was gonna live stream anything, it would be Zelda Breath of the Wild because I'm like exceptionally bad at it. And it's like really fun to watch. My friends and I, that's like a pastime of ours. I don't, okay. Part of the reason for games like that is because Nintendo Switch, and the um, Xbox, the, the buttons are swapped. So A and B are swapped and X and Y are swapped. And I do not adjust to that well at all. So it's it's really fun because every single time that I try to hit something, pick something up, I'm doing the opposite of what I'm intending to do. I don't adjust quickly. <laughs> it's a good time. I'm really good at games like strategy games, but like Mortal Kombat, oh no, I would just get wrecked, guys. The only game that I was weirdly good at was um, Horizon Zero Dawn. It felt super, super good. The archery was awesome, and there's all the traps you can plant, and that was great. Other than that, suck. <laughs> so, it'd be a fun time. I'm lightly thinking about it. I'm just used to live streaming things that I'm good at. That's what my long-winded speech there was about. I still can't decide if I like how these little spikes on her head look. So I just need to add both of them so I can really see what's going on. It's 
it's not quite the right shape. What if I pull it up and then like do an arc or something? That's just, it's just not it. It's interesting, but it's not it. I'm thinking maybe like a, I mentioned the previous live stream. I read a lot of webtoons and manga. One of the webtoons I really like right now is Unholy Blood. And the main character is a vampire and she wears this um, crown of thrones. Is that right? That's kind of, my brain was like Game of Thrones. I'm like, no, no, no. Crown of Thorns. There we go. That could be really neat. So maybe I'll do that. But sculpting that sounds like a lot of work right now. So I'm not going to do that right now. You know, I gotta say, I am really proud of the color scheme here because I colored both of these models in completely separate windows and they have like the exact same color palette. So, woo, go me. <laughs> It'd have been super easy to fix. I'm just happy about the consistency. Can't decide if I want to give her dark hair with white highlights or the reverse. So let's just try it out. Here is dark hair, white highlights, oh my goodness, <laughs> not like that. Mm, nah, it's gotta be white. I'm so used to seeing her with white hair, that's just the way. So something that happens really commonly is like the trim right here, see how it's like all wobbly and just not looking really good? Usually, I don't add it until after the fact, or if I delete it, I will just add it quickly afterwards. It's like right here, let's see if this will work nicely. If I can get the right size. It actually doesn't look that different. Usually it looks a lot nicer, I swear. Oh well. I'm still happy that's a separate object. If I smooth out the edge of it, I would help. Any students that are watching the stream, I'm sure you know what I was talking about, what I was trying to do. It just happened to not work that time. Pose is coming together. I still need to change, you know, like <laughs> everything. But um, I'm excited about it. It's happening. <laughs> oh my goodness. She looks like a um, strange old man right now because I've been adjusting the mesh around her and not her body. Yeah. Wow. That, that's a look. By look, I mean look away. I don't even know what happened to her pants, honestly. They're somewhere in there. And honestly, bad gamers are fun, if not more, to watch. <laughs> I get you. I have a few that I watched are also terrible and it's funny because you know they stream a lot and I'm like why aren't they getting any better Lovely lady here, legs are way too long. So let's fix that. Just gonna 
gonna scrunch these up here and move her feet. As far as the body, body's a lost cause. I'm <laughs> this is just gonna look like chaos, and that's fine. We'll just move it up. All gonna be mesh on the inside anyway. The only thing I really want this for is for her arms. Um, the rest of this, we're just gonna squeeze up here. Sorry you have to see that. <laughs> this is why I make the pants completely solid, because it doesn't matter how that mesh is handling right now. I'll make sure to keep the mesh integrity looking nice if I am depending on that for like um, the anatomy and how things are looking, but I, I know exactly what I want to do with this, so I'm not worried about it. Unfortunately, because I know it looks terrifying. There we go, it looks better. Yeah, these these are the pants. I mentioned I was like, where did they go? I have found them. They were also flips inside out. So Transfer's Master worked, it just flipped my entire model inside out. What you gonna do? At least it worked. I don't think the pants have a purpose right now, so I'm gonna leave them. Slowly getting there. It's not much sure what the point of these little like things that hang down are. It's just decorative cool stuff. armor of some sort. Hey Cross, what's up? Just set up a Wacom that's my girlfriend's mom gave me and downloads Zebra's core. Awesome, that's so exciting. That's gonna be awesome. I'm excited for you. All right, these little armor pieces on her hip are driving me nuts. Like it looked really good when she was standing and now that I'm trying to like put her on something, these pieces are looking really weird. I'm just gonna leave them alone for a bit, come back to them. 
Or just give her a belt entirely. Just remove these. Because I do have a fairly nice trim on the bottom of this. I think that might end up working a lot better than the hip pieces because they're really not reading well on the model. Not for this pose, anyway. Just no worry. I just adjust. Alright, I'm going to leave that alone for a little bit, because now this just general waist area is driving me nuts. This is <laughs> more challenging than posing the horse was, which I did not anticipate. But hey, it's about time I had a, a good challenger, a model fight me, it's been a while. Look how happy Tiki is, I can't be grouchy when he's so happy. Such a good birdie. Oh, I know, isn't the bird cam awesome? I am, He's being an absolute gem. He was kind of an a-hole earlier in the stream, being pretty pretty screamy, but um, he's just so excited because like he's only two feet away from my desk. He's not used to being like within two feet of me. Usually it's like I don't know six. When we're this close, he knows it's street time. So I think he was getting pissed at me because he was like, "Hey, you moved me all the way over here, and I haven't gotten anything." Oh my god, he's so awesome. Believe it or not, but. He was an absolute nightmare the first like six months I had him. Um, I took super good care of him still, even though he made me want to strangle myself. He was being so, he just scream at you. He was like mad and just didn't like anything. Um, I was actually starting to think about like, you know, rehoming him. Cause I was like, I'm not going to love him and be awesome to him. Like he deserves better. And like literally overnight, just chilled out. I have no idea what it was. I read about it. They mentioned sometimes it's like a hormonal issue or something, but just depends. Hello, funny bird. But yeah, it's been a year and a half and since him driving me crazy in the first six months, and he's been awesome. Been a super good bird. But yeah, I think parakeets kind of get a rap that like they're like an easy bird to have because they're only like 30 bucks or something, but birds are nothing like having a cat or dog, that's for sure. I was very surprised. It's actually, it's time for some treats. Such a good nerd. Just a little snack. Right. 
been about two hours since I started live streaming, so I'm probably gonna put a render on this and call it good. Not <laughs> finished, obviously, but good for today's work. Pretty fancy, I like that. It's really hard to see, but it looks really cool. Let's see if I can get two lights going, just a little bit on the bottom be a red color. I'll balance it out. Yeah, her face is still really hard to see, but it does look cool. One more light. Position this one more towards the front. Looks really nice. We'll go with that. Brighten it up a bunch so it's a little easier to see, <laughs> hopefully. But it's gonna be awesome. Sorry, I mentioned birds take a while to get used to new situations. There was a guy who inherited his gra grandma's bacaw. I knew it, but I attacked him and scarred his face. Oh, he took it in after she died. Afterwards, perfectly behaved. Well, I guess he just had to get out of the system. Yeah, since I got him when he was only like, maybe like a month old, I figured that probably wouldn't happen. But you're right. Like, they just, they don't know. You know, they have to learn. And um, he was definitely kind of an oddball. Like, there was a little tree in there. Are you going to start yelling while I tell my story? I know I'm talking about you. <laughs> anyway, there's a little tree in there with like a bunch of little parakeets, right? And um, he was the only one by himself. Like, he was on top of the tree by himself completely by himself like the rest of them all had little friends or all preening each other so he obviously didn't have like good social skills for an animal he was like on the lower end and they had to you know socialize with me which does not look like a bird and he let me know that but now he loves me so it works out all right this came out pretty sick it almost looks finished if you just don't look too hard <laughs> there's some issues but whatever i know baby he scratched his head you guys can't see it, but he's scratching his head looking cute, like he does. Anyway, uh, I don't have a live stream tomorrow, but I do the day after that. And I'll probably, again, just bank on like 5.30. I say 6 in my little post, but probably closer to 5.30. Thank you guys for hanging out, and I'll see you the next one, okay? Bye!